Welcome to the official Munzee podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munzee. And I'm Craig, also known as Seymour Shell. I'm here to explore the world of Munzee from within. Each week, we'll delve into Munzee's mysteries, discover treasures, and inform players from around the world just what's coming your way. So sit back, relax, and today, Rob, we talk about the week that was. We talk about the Munzee monthly videos. Yes, 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 they're back. Clan Wars. And also, oh, I've got a secret question for Rob from a listener slash Munzee player. And of course, we end with the tip of the week. This time, though, Rob, the tip of the week is from me, not you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What I an know. episode. Everybody stick around. Mm-hmm. Listen to the end because there's some important stuff here. There is. There really is. There really is. So, Rob, starting off, the week that was, how was your week first? What did you get up to? What did you do? Well, it's um, been a good week. Uh, we tend to talk about the technology and how it's holding up each week. So let's just start mm-hmm. there with a nice little celebration because we're back into Normal, 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 normal yeah. being, you know, everything <laughs> works. Everything works. People can rely yeah. on it. We can rely on it. We can carry on with our uh, normal jobs and everything else. Um, as far as gameplay goes, uh, last week you actually said something about like, oh, you know, you were able to go out on a cruisy walk and all that. And mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I should actually do that this week. And so I did. Yeah. I, uh, I was playing the game every day. But one day I needed to go out and get some cruisies so that I could finish up my level two clan requirements. That allowed me to open a few crates. I know. Level two. Level two. Yeah. Level two. See? See, there you go. These people think that the, you know, the the Munzi, you're busy doing other things as well, but you're still a hardcore player and you still finish level two. That's pretty cool. Yeah. um, You know what made me miss level three? The golden carrot. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> isn't that bad i completely forgot about deploying the golden carrot uh, uh you, you know you can redeem those for free in the in the redeem store <laughs> so i've heard so i've heard that's that should be my tip of the week coming soon like at the end of the month don't forget to uh, deploy your golden carrot uh speaking oh, of I, I also deployed in a few gardens um which was fun uh that's cool it, yeah i always like to find some new ones and uh do that and mm. then uh, the majority of my stuff, though, has just been getting things ready for the end of the year. Lots of fun coming yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Christmas is coming up nice and close. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did the same thing in terms of the gardens. I was deploying quite a few gardens as well. And guess what, Rob? That's where my tip of the week comes from. But anyway, we'll leave Ooh. it to that. That's at the end of the, the show. Um, uh, what else did I do? Oh, the virtual potions, etc. as well. I completed yeah. the virtual potions, so I got them all by using a couple of magnets. I've still got five of the physicals to go. And I've magnet, magnet, magnet on a couple of these physicals. But anyway, I've still got five. I don't think I'm going to finish that one. Guess what? The ingredients, the ingredients have gone up. We've increased them. Yes. (gasps) Really? Yes. So really get out there. When they end again, look for more. Um, Do they end on the 6th? I believe the 6th, November the 6th. So a couple more days since this goes live, November 6th, they end. So, well, I've got, I've got like 15 toenails for goodness. I've got more toenails than I do toes for, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also, Rob, I also listened to the recent Munzee Maniacs podcast. They had another one come out nice and quick as well. Mm Mm-hmm. And they interviewed one of the admins from the water cooler. I am not even going to try and pronounce his name because they butchered it themselves. Jean, so it was like Jean <laughs> Husman. If I, that's how yes, I always say it. At least, yeah, that's how like I that. say it too. Yeah. But um, but yeah, if you haven't listened to that, go over and have a listen to the Munzee Maniacs podcast because um, I heard that PJ and Sarah, are, are, or PJ is getting a little bit PJ'd, let's just say that, in regards to Sarah climbing the leaderboard and getting close to him. He then somehow randomly mentioned my name, Rob. He mentioned see my shells even gaining on me as well. So he's watching me gain on him. So, of course, what did I have to do? I had to deploy a few for Sarah in her local area. And she's done the same for me now too. So oh, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Podcast hosts working together specifically to uh, take down yeah. one of the others. Exactly, exactly. So let's get on, move on to the activity that was for for last week itself. There was a couple of small events in Florida, Kansas, Pennsylvania, and yes, in Australia as well. Yes. Yes. Um, The leaderboards over the weekend, Rob, what happened with the leaderboards? Well, we didn't have any mega events, no major big events. We didn't have double points. So it was kind of, you know, like 
ending the month on a normal note. Uh, there was yeah. one person who stood out on the leaderboard, Jar- Jaroslav <laughs> Kuss, right? I mean, look at it. Mm. First place on Friday with 170,000 points. Saturday, 160,000 points, first place. Wow. And then Sunday, he was upset by Tofu Girl at 167,000 oh. points, but he came in second. So he didn't he quite complete the wow. trifecta of the weekend. Wow, wow. Good job, though. But he only gets the one badge for the first place. Yes. On the Friday, and then, then that's it. And I have you a get the feeling. One badge for right. I have a mm. feeling that he probably has the first place badge anyway. Or, so do I. So <laughs> right. Honest, so exactly. I. <laughs> exactly. The current events coming up this weekend in USA, we have Arizona, Minnesota, Missouri, Indiana, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Florida, which is really cool. So the events are coming back. What about in Canada, Rob? We have some in Canada. Canada, we've got uh, one in British Columbia and Ontario. Uh, we've got them mm-hmm. in the UK, in Germany, Finland, Denmark. So yeah, like you said, it's yeah. it's back. It's November. Uh, there are not double points this weekend. However, next weekend, double points. Mm-hmm. So guess what? There's yes. even more events next weekend. Exactly, exactly. But again, in saying that, two clan wars has begun again as well. So that's another reason for the for the uh, the little dip, that little clan mm-hmm. wars dip at the end of the clan wars. There's always a dip, isn't there? Yeah, yes. <laughs> if you want to see more events, go onto the event page and always always link in the show notes. As we're saying, Rob Clan Wars has ended now, but but there's there's been a battle for clan wars, wasn't there? It was actually quite good this month. Yeah, we've. Do you know there have been 127 clan wars battles like that's really the number where we're moving into and we're on battle 128 so you can go back wow. months 128 months ago is when it started <laughs> yeah which is pretty wild <laughs> wow. um yeah so 20 127 ended there were 25 teams that hit level six 47 of them hit level five um, I made it That's to two. Cool. I believe you said yours was level yeah. four. Is that right? We were level four, and I think we got seventy eighth, which is or no, a little bit, a little bit higher, eightieth or something like that, okay. which is always good for us. I mean, we're a, we're a clan of seven, um, so if we get under the in in the top one hundred, we're happy with that. So yeah. yeah, no, that's great. The winner, the team winner though, was a B Z. A B Z A B Z like yeah. but A B B double E Z double E. Anyway, who comes second? <laughs> uh, Guzen came in second place, uh, which is a European team, and then Sunshine State came in third. Guess where they're there raced? They oh, of course the Sunshine State, Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. them exactly, exactly. And it's not not hard to see. I did have a look. I did dive into the the A B Z group. They are some big players in the B Z group, aren't they? We've talked yeah, about several really of are. them in the past, yeah. So we have, we have. And I'm talking each each of the clan members is over a million points mm. every single month. That's mm. insane. Yes, <laughs> they are. Um, they're out there to win. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Now let's get to it. What's coming up this week, Rob? What can you tell us from this week's coming up as of now, today, Friday, the third of November? Well, you mm. see. We have brought something back that we had in place back when Hammock was with us. He ran the Munzee Monthly Giveaway earlier this year. Uh, We brought that back after it being gone for about three years. And Mm -hmm. then last month, we kind of, we put it on pause again. And Mm -hmm. we're bringing it back with a special new host and oh, I wonder who that could be. I know, a special uh, <laughs> rebranding as well. From Munzee Monthly Giveaway, we're changing it over mm-hmm. to the Munzee Monthly Moments. And it makes more sense. Yeah, I'm going to turn it over to the host of the Munzee Monthly Moments and uh, <laughs> let, let him explain exactly what's going on there. G'day, guys. See my shell here, the host of the Munzee Monthly Moments. Welcome to the Munzee Monthly Moments. <laughs> um, <laughs> how was that? Does it sound uh, all right? I love it. It's great. Um, Moments. We've changed it from giveaway to moments. We don't worry. We still you or you guys are still giving away stuff. You still give away things for your first place, and you still give away things for, you know, it depends on how many uh, entrants you get. It depends on how many runner-up places you get as well. So you still give away stuff, but we feel or you feel that it was more about Munzee. It's the moments in time. You still have to do things that that for that particular month as well. So it's like a a challenge of sorts. And uh, and for this month. It was different again. Again, you change it up. This month, you had to cap a POI, not only a POI, but a gym POI because it's getting colder here in the Northern Hemisphere. 
you still got to get out and get some exercise. And so you got to cap a uh, gym POI. And that's your Munzee monthly moments. The rules are this. It must be filmed in vertical mode. It must You must say your player name during the video. It must have the hashtag Munzee monthly moments in the title. One video per player. One player per video. Entries do close on the, the, the 23.59 on November 30th in Munzee HQ time. But, Rob, there's something different as well. You can upload your vertical videos to YouTube up to one minute because that's YouTube rules. You can upload to TikTok up to three minutes because that's TikTok rules. But there's something else coming. Yes. Rob, Instagram reels are coming. Oh, it's been requested since we restarted it February, I believe is when we restarted it, but we didn't include Facebook, um, Instagram reels. We didn't include that stuff. Um, and it said Facebook it's meta. Um, so we didn't include the Instagram reels, but we are working on that. It should be ready mid month. Um, Mm -hmm. probably at the latest, let's say, but, uh, but we're, we're working on that. It's coming soon and that will give everybody one more, uh, platform that they can put this information out. Exactly. So, now, the only other thing I was going to say, Rob, you can only actually submit one entry either on any of those three platforms. So you can't do one of each platform. No, no, no. One, you choose a platform you want. So if you choose YouTube, it's YouTube. You can still put it on the other platforms. Don't get us wrong, but you can only enter once on one particular platform. We're just giving people more ideas out there to try and get things on on different platforms. So that's pretty cool. Munzee monthly moments. There yes. You go. So we're um, going to have to put the link yeah. in the show notes for everyone yeah, so that they know um, how to how to submit because you don't yes. just post it out there and then leave no. it and we don't go track them no. down. We actually have a website that Sam Cubsey built. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll post that link so that everyone can join us. That's perfect. Now, if you want to know more about this, make sure you go onto YouTube itself, actual YouTube, and look up Munzee. That's right, the Munzee. There's an official Munzee actual YouTube channel out there. And Rob, you've got a few videos out there at the moment, and there's more coming as well. But the Munzee, official Munzee channel on YouTube is where you'll know all the monthly, I'm going to tongue tied, all the monthly uh, requirements. So in other words, are you going to post it there the first of every month on your YouTube channel? And also the link for where you submit is going to be in the description of that channel as well. So on that, on that video. So there you go. Moving on. Mun's packs for November. I just got mine today. I woke up to mine this morning. Oh, did you? I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank yeah. The, <laughs> the, the people that, you know, have a subscription, they have it set for the first, uh, usually mm-hmm. get that um, very mm-hmm. quickly after it turns to the first and, and MHQ time. Uh, so yeah, you get to wake up to it if you're, um, if you're in the, in the States, basically. Um, yeah. The next month uh, is when we're actually going to kick off the new Zodiac. So this month we have, have given a selection of the Celtic Zodiacs to each of the packs. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I I got mine. Um, And as you said, Rob, on the first, so what I used to do is that I think it might have been on the something like the 20th or something was my my monthly subscription on the 20th. And I used to see what I was going to get before I got it. So I got it on the 20th, but everyone was getting it on the first. And I thought, hang on a second. So what did I do? I actually canceled that one <laughs> after I got it. So after the 20th, on the 21st, I canceled it and then reinstated it on the first so I can then get it on the first like everyone else. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I, I did that trick myself. Yeah, there's a way to uh, update your subscription so that you can uh, change mm. that date uh, to any time that you want. So you want to line it yeah, up with yeah. payday or whatever. Yep. Exactly. November, we start coming into a new month. And of course, there's another actual skin for the hedges as well. It's a stag. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like it. Liked that one. Uh, we had a good time last year coming up with the 12 that we were going to put out for uh, each of the months. So yeah, we've we've got the stag out now and uh, would like to, I guess, remind everyone that you need eight hedges uh, before the end of the year so that you can keep uh, a permanent version so that you can continue to change back and forth between all those skins and the way to get those skins is for, um, uh, activity, daily activity. You have to play every single day during the month in order to earn that next skin. You have to purchase mm-hmm. a garden hedge in order to be able to use those skins and switch between them. So don't forget that. Yeah. Yep. And you need, yeah, you need a total of eight itself. Now, Rob, say for instance, I don't have the eight, you know, and I'm like, oh, damn, you know, I started playing this last minute in the year. How can I actually, can I still get the eight for the year? Well, it would be a 
bit tight, I would say, <laughs> uh, because you can only buy one every 30 days. However, mm-hmm. uh, all four of the resellers also um, sell these, and they are oh. supposed to also be limited to one, but theirs is one for the <laughs> year. So um, it would be a bit tight. You never know, because sometimes there is a bonus uh, hedge that we put out during December yeah. or even Cyber Month's Day, as we call it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Fair enough. stay tuned. There you go. There you go. So you can actually get them from the resellers as well, uh, separately from the actual HQ store. Now, I did see came out as well another the Frank and Stein from October. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, isn't it crazy? Um, the the ideas. I mean, the ideas that our team come as, comes up with. Uh, they're super creative. <laughs> we just sat and chatting, having a good time, talking about which what our next storyland uh, myth was going to be. And um, somehow, uh, well, it was spooky season, right? So um, Frankenstein came up. And uh, yep. so so we we went with that story and instead turned it into Frank and Stein. And then Dylan sort of mm-hmm. wrote the story of it being leftover um, beer and bratwurst <laughs> from Oktoberfest. <laughs> and, and then Andy like drew it. it up. Andy's mind is crazy for the art. Dylan has mm-hmm. all the creativity of the storytelling element. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's it, it's it's been really cool. We have all enjoyed yeah. the reactions to that one. Well, I'll be honest as well. When I first saw it, I thought straight away the team has been watching your video, your personal channel, you know, at, at Beer Snob Rob, <laughs> because uh, you could be there, Frank and Stein. Oh, <laughs> my. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that definitely could be me. You are correct. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even think now, of that I- connection, but yeah. No, I did straight away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> November Clan Wars requirements have been out right now as well. And as we said before, do not forget, Rob, Rob, <laughs> Rob, do not forget you can actually claim your gold. You don't even have to pay anything for it. It's zero Zs, Rob, zero Zs. But you get your golden carrot from the premium section in the Redeem store. Oh, I, I'm going to have to set myself an actual reminder, maybe a calendar update just like just yeah. to do that and get it deployed. Oh, yeah. oh my. Um, well, <laughs> for those of you like me that are outside the U.S., um, don't forget that the MHQ hours change this weekend. They fall back by one mm-hmm. hour, and that happens That's Sunday, right. uh, November 5th. So the, mm-hmm. the, the MHQ server time will be changing uh, back minus one hour. Yeah. When I was in Australia, it was like it was 3 p.m. was the Munsey HQ midnight. And so I remember I'd, I'd cap something at, at 2 p.m. and then I can cap it again at 3, 3 or 5. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah, outside the US, the Munsey HQ goes back uh, for one hour. Now, Rob, Rob, Rob. Hello. You've, you've changed. <laughs> what? Look Hi, at you, I'm Rob. Rob. Oh, geez. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't see the video, of course. We have the infamous Lou Vardaman here with us. Hey. Uh, Lou, how are you going? How have you been? I'm all right, thanks, mate. How are you? Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I like the accent. It's very different <laughs> to Rob's. I'm enjoying it. Um, you're here. You're talking to us because you're you've got some news for us about because you're in charge of the events. I am. So you've yes. got news about events coming up in Christmas time. What? what tell me. Tell me all about it, Lou. What have you got? Well, the time has come. It's uh, somehow nearly Christmas almost, and um, yeah, we run Christmas parties in December. We've been doing that for about eight years now, and the time has come again. So we're launching all the details about the packages available today. Really? on the, mm-hmm. This is Friday. This is released Friday. So the, watch it today. Watch it today. But what can you tell us? If those who don't, who don't want to read it, tell us a bit <laughs> more about it. What can they get? It's a pretty simple package. So it's for all of um, Munsey events in December. It's like an add-on that they can just take their Munsey event into a Christmas event. So there's a choice of badges. Mm-hmm. Um, there's six um, badges and icons to choose from. They're fairly generic, but we've got some um, fun options. And you can customize it a bit by putting your event name or place, um, mm-hmm. date, stuff like that on the badge um, and choose from the icons. And then there's some cool host badges and attendee badges, some special cards, um, and there's an emerald for everyone that goes to the events as well. Oh, nice, nice! And this add-on is, is what is it? Fifty dollars for the for the yeah. existing December package. So it's an add-on. Yeah, itself. exactly. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's fifty dollars to add all those bits and bobs on. And um, yeah, people just need to contact me to tell them to tell me that they want to add that on to their December package, and we go from there. 
Wow, there you go. You heard it here first. But Lou, before you go, because I know I know you're itching to get away again now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to tell you though my story. I hosted an event, Lou. I'm, you probably don't even know, but it was it was like last year, and when I was back in Australia, like the beginning of last year, and I had no clue how to host an event. No clue. I didn't even reach out to you at all. I just I was gonna I say paid... I don't remember emailing you. No, no, no. I paid for the event itself and it was and I just did it like a normal geocaching event. I had it in like a pub in Australia okay. and we all and they all came and uh two I had two regular Munzee players that were hardcore Munzee players nearby. They turned up and they 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 kept the two badges that I'd had them printed out on my iPad. They kept those two <laughs> badges and they said, Oh, where did you put all the 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 flags. I go. What are you talking about? Put the flags. What are you talking about? Put the flag. No, we're just here to you know, drink some beer and have some fun and have a Munzee right. chat. They're like, oh no, this isn't a Munzee event. I go, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, the week leading up to it, all these cards started popping up all around me. I was like, getting oh, so yes. excited, and I thought to myself, how do these people know about my event? Like, this is amazing. Magic. So it was magic. magic. It was. I should have reached out to you, but I I know for now. So you haven't but, hosted since then, so it can't have been that great. No. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> Been busy. Yeah, the Munzee well, monthly moments. Well, hopefully we moments. can tempt you back. Yes, yes. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry about that. The Munzee monthly moments has my uh, and this podcast we has my time now. So. There we are. Thank you so much, Lou, for joining us. And uh, and I'll see you when I see you next. Hopefully not. As long hopefully as I'll we'll see you at an been. event. Yeah. Yes, definitely. That'll be fun. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Oh man! Look. Oh wow! Geez, my view has just gone downhill fast. I tell you, get a rob your back, mate. <laughs> yeah, my the better half has uh, retired um, to uh, to event land. <laughs> now, Rob, we're going to move on. We have a new thing called a uh, Munzee question of the week as well. This question comes from a player. Her name is Hilds, and she's in Australia. The question is: prizes from um, is how do you pronounce Magnetus? Magnetus, yeah. Magnetus. Prizes from Magnetus, surprise wheels, or a physical prize wheel. Is there an algorithm or is it random? And what prizes can you get from Hilds in Australia? Ooh, I don't remember saying that I would answer questions first. I, uh, I know, I, do. I know. <laughs> but just kidding, because I, I do think that you have said in the past, like, hey, if you have any questions, contact us and let us know. It's like, all right, great. Mm-hmm. And someone has, so that's that's really cool. So, Hilds. Uh we, we tend to be fairly sneaky and everything about a lot of our gameplay. So what you're asking for is definitely part of that world. Um, so what I will tell you about uh, Magnetus, Surprise Wheel, um, and Prize Wheels is that they are literally just like a real life prize wheel. Um, so you would, you know, step up, you would spin it, and there's a chance of you uh, earning all the different things. There are sections on the prize wheel for points, mm-hmm. points only. There are sections for um, magnets and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, so magnets in particular, magnet, like mm-hmm. that makes sense that that's what it would give out. Um, so there's different probabilities of winning each of the different things. We don't share the exact probabilities. We also mm-hmm. don't share the exact prizes. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, both of those things rotate. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they rotate based on uh, me seeing feedback, mm-hmm. um, whether that's in the Munzee water cooler or hearing it from other players at events, maybe even my own specific experiences uh, when I go to events and I'm capping those prize wheels and surprise wheels. So... Um, it all rotates. So I don't have the specific exact answer that you might be looking for, but if you've um, met me or talked with me or read anything that I've ever written in the past, that shouldn't surprise you. (laughs) Um, I will say though, that there is one like super prize that is available through the surprise wheel and the prize wheel. And um, it's pretty big. And uh, it has a very small probability, like Mm -hmm. very small, not as small as winning the lottery. But still, <laughs> Close. rather small. Yes, it's Close. it's rather small. Um, so, thank you for your question. Yeah, and I guess that if you, anyone else has questions out you there, you know, send them you in. You did answer yeah. that well, Rob. You did. It, it, you answered it well as well from a corporate point of view too, because you guys do have a lot of secrets. I mean, Rob, I love this is not on the show notes now, but I love your different secret badges that you give out, and you're like. What? Where did I get this from? How do I get that? And of course, then what I what do I do? I normally go to the water cooler on Facebook because they're not corporate. 
They've got nothing. They're not. They're not Munzi owned people. So no. they've got the the right to uh, press and the right of free speech, so to speak. So <laughs> um, yes. otherwise, yeah, the Munzi water cooler is a good place actually for those sort of questions as well. To be honest with you, uh, because yeah. you'll have random people go, "Well, I I'm, I remember I capped it and I got this and I got this and I got this." So they can lists, say what they got, but yeah, exactly. Lists have been compiled over the years <laughs> of like, here's what the prizes are, and then all of a sudden, uh, Pumpkin Evo. Comes comes out and <laughs> someone earns one of those through a surprise wheel. And it's like, yeah. oh, wow, they must wow. have changed the prizes again. And it's oh. like, yeah, I, I woke up from my uh, six-month nap and changed the surprise wheel. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Things. Fair so, enough. so I will tell you one more thing that's mm-hmm. actually an extension of this. Oh. is, the, um, And I kind of hinted at it recently, but we've just run an, a successful experiment with uh, the Headless Horseman and mm-hmm. Count Calcula. Both of those two things, if you captured or if you owned one and it was captured, they were um, giving out some prizes over the last five days um, leading up to Halloween. Now, Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that now because it was an experiment. Mm -hmm. We did it quietly, not telling anyone. (laughs) And um, and we also it's over. So it doesn't matter now if you go looking for those things. They are not rewarding the prizes. So the whole point of that was just to. give some extra options to mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. in how to reward people for the things that they, uh, that they do mm-hmm. daily. Um, and, you know, specifically to reward the people who have the mobs mm-hmm. and are not the mobs, sorry, the player owned bouncers, um, yep. those temporary player owned bouncers, the max, all those things, because most of those involve money you spending it in order to get them. And so if we can encourage people to capture them, to get points and also give you rewards from it, Hey, Mm -hmm. that's, that's a win-win type thing. Yeah. So get creative Mm -hmm. because that's what I'm planning on doing. (laughs) Think, think what might be coming up soon that would be good for these extra prizes to start popping up. What might happen in November specifically in America don't know um all kinds of possibilities <laughs> yeah exactly all kinds of possibilities but just think um and always be watching uh those pop-up messages uh, mm-hmm. to see did you get a prize from what you were doing because yeah um we can do sneaky new things now yeah, exactly. Now, I, I do find that sometimes because a lot of the regular players like myself have learned how to get rid of those pop-ups in terms of they just disappear automatically. Um, and you don't see, you don't actually get to see what you, you cap. Again, I think I've said this in the previous episode as well. Uh, the Cup of Z is the best place to go. You go to Cup of Z, you go to Inventory, and then you go to your History, and uh, and you can see exactly what you got, where you got, and how you got it, and the time you got it as well. So yeah, Cup of Z is the place to be. Oh, look at that, Rob. Anyway, let's move on lastly and there's the munzi tip of the week rob before we start the tip of the week you've read the show notes did did this surprise you this one no not exactly i mean i will here's what i'll tell you about this one it's new oh there you go so it so but i'm on the inside so i did know about it oh but it is new so what you're what you're about to tell everyone is actually a very helpful (gasps) tip And I found this myself, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone else out there, I found this tip myself because, as I said before at the start of this show, I was uh, deploying quite a bit and I was deploying cards at events, et cetera. So the tip of the week is like this. If you deploy cards fast from the events page on a computer, not your phone, on a computer, this is what you do. You go to the events page itself. You look at the event that you want to go on. In the actual event, you can click on host, date, time, region, location. And, and that in, at the end of the location itself, it says open on web map link. That's right. So as an actual link. So you click on that web map link. It automatically sends you to the Munzee map, the, the new, brand new, new and improved Munzee map, easy to deploy Munzee map. It sends you to the Munzee map at that exact location where the event is being held and you can just go ahead and just click away and just post it wherever you like and that's done the cards you then go back to the events page you look at the next event itself and you do the same thing again you click on that open on web map link and it takes you to the exact location again rob i'm telling you now this cut my time in half like actually in tenths what i used to do 
is I used to have two pages open, one on the Munzee page and one on uh, on the events page. And I'd, and I'd have to open up the, the map to see exactly where it was and I'd scroll out or zoom and I'd go, oh, what's in Finland or Germany? And then mm-hmm. I'd, I'd, they're the hardest because I don't speak that language. So to try yeah. and find where it is and then I'd try and zoom in and move around. And yeah, that's what I used to do. Now, oh, nope open on web map so there you go you got that from me it's brand new. i didn't even know it was brand new i just found it the other day and I it is this is a good tip of the week since our uh since our big backend update and mm-hmm. the overhauling of the web map and all of those mm-hmm. things the calendar itself also got an overhaul and that's come out in a couple of different stages because um we just needed it working first yeah and uh and so yeah there have been a couple of uh cool new perks that were added so I, i'm impressed that you found it and oh. um that you were nice enough to share it with everyone who's listening yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> The more deploys and events, the better everyone gets. The more car, more points you get from from the cards deploying themselves, the more points people get from the, who attend the event. So there you go. Monday tip of the week from me, not Rob. Yes, yes, yes. So Rob. Yes. So, so, Rob, this ends another official Munzee podcast. Thanks for joining us on this Munzee adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcasting app and join us next week for, of course, another exciting episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of explorers. So keep scanning, keep discovering, and keep the Munzee spirit alive. Ready, Rob? One, two, three. Munzee on. Munzee on. You never get it right. You never get it right.